Guys, I got a quick video for today. Once you find out what you want, everything else becomes easy. And the easiest analogy I can fucking give you is when I come into the gym, people tell me my consistency is crazy, that my discipline in the gym is crazy. Not really. Not really. I don't really have discipline that well to push myself to do something that I don't want to do. Example A, when I was in my old job working in fucking finance, I did not have the motivation to actually push myself in that job. I didn't have the discipline to be able to do that. Discipline is a little bit of a misleading term because when you think discipline, you think forcing yourself to do something that you don't want to do. Why the fuck would you do that? Why wouldn't you force yourself to do something that you want to do? For me, that's lifting weights. I like fucking lifting weights. I like the fucking process of it and I like the results it gives me. So why the fuck do I need discipline to go lift weights? It's fucking second nature. It's a fucking habit. It's something that I like to do. You don't need discipline to go fucking take a shit. You don't need discipline to go fucking watch Netflix. Unless you don't fucking like it. But you get where the fuck I'm coming from. If you find out what you want in life, everything else after that is easy. And yes, there's always going to be steps that you have to take that you don't want to take in order to get to the goal that you ultimately want. Like for me, I like training people, but I don't like training people every single fucking day. Okay, there's bullshit that I have to deal with and there's shit, there's little shit that I don't like. But overall, you can't fucking beat it. This is what I love to do. I love to make YouTube videos. I sometimes I get stumped and I and I fucking don't enjoy it as much, but that's really more so me being in my head. That's me not seeing, that's me focusing too much on the results than actually focusing on the, the process. Because when I actually just free flow on these YouTube videos, I fucking love that shit. And I don't pay attention to how it actually performs. I love doing this shit. But a lot of you guys are in fucking jobs that you don't like, are in careers that you don't like, are in relationships you don't like are in positions you don't want to be in. And you can't figure out why you don't have the discipline to move forward with it. It's because you don't fucking like it. That's why you can't muster up the discipline. That's why you can't get through this shit. It's not because you don't it's not because you're an undisciplined person. It's because you, if you're doing something that you don't want to do. You're doing things that don't align with your goals. You're doing things that don't align with your personality and who you are. You need to drop all that shit. Fuck your job. I don't give a fuck. People are probably going to tell me, oh, well, you're a fucking asshole telling people to quit their jobs just because it worked for you. Well, yeah, I fucking made it work for me. First of all. Second of all, I'm trying to push you guys to fucking improve yourselves. I'm trying to push you to fucking supreme being. I'm not going to tell you the same shit everybody else tells you. I'm not going to tell you, nah, stay in school, get a good job. Fuck all that shit. Do what the fuck you want to do and not what anybody else fucking tells you to do. Because what they're telling you to do is putting limiting beliefs on you. And then you start to believe 
that the things that you want aren't reasonable. It's not likely that you're going to get them. So why even fucking go for it? Once you find out what you want, you will go all out for it. If you don't go all out for it, then I can't fucking help you. You're just a bitch. But if you really find out what you want, you would be willing to go all out for it. I'm willing to go all out for my coaching business. I'm willing to go all out for YouTube. That's why I'm quitting my fucking job tomorrow. That's why I'm willing to sacrifice relationships. And that's why I'm willing to go fucking monk mode. It's not discipline. It's that I found out what the fuck I want. You guys don't know what the fuck you want. Or you do know what the fuck you want, but you're too afraid to go get it. And people will tell you, don't do it because it's not reasonable. Do this. Go to school. Get a good job. Marry this person. Go to this school. Do this. Do that. Fuck them. People probably think I'm crazy and that I'm giving out bad advice. I'm not telling you to quit your job today. I'm telling you to quit your job. Get into a favorable position where you are at least prepared to take that risk. And you got to find out what the fuck you want. And then go all out for it. Go fucking all out for it. You are going to have to make sacrifices. Fucking get over it. Once you get to that point, you're not even going to give a fuck about the stuff you sacrifice. Because what's more important? The little shit that you're holding on to or the overarching goal? The big goal or the little shit? What's more important for you? Your goals and your dreams? Or the so-called friends in your life right now? Or the fucking security in your life right now? What's more important? Go fucking all out. Figure out what the fuck you want and go all out for it. That's all I got to tell you guys today. I'm going to end with this. Tomorrow is the day I quit my personal training job. That pretty much marks a year since I quit my job in finance. Tomorrow is also my 24th birthday. A year ago, I quit that job in finance and I left all the fucking security. If you follow me, you should already know my story. But if you don't, I left all the fucking any sense of a career I had to go fucking pursue personal training. And I went all out on it. And you know what? Even though I was working 60 hour weeks, I'm not talking about 60 hours work. If you're a personal trainer, you get hour gaps in between people. I'm talking about at the gym, 14 hours a day, six days a week, and then eight hours on Sundays. So I'm there seven days a week. Add that up. That's like 80 hours a fucking week. The crazy part is, it wasn't hard for me. Because I knew this is what the fuck I wanted to do. This last year, I don't give a fuck how much work I put in. This last year has been, a, has been one of the fucking best years of my life. I'm talking about these last 12 months. Because I figured out what the fuck I want to do. And I'm going all out for it. I would have never thought this was possible a year ago. I would have never thought I would be self-employed. I would have never thought... I'd be fine. I'd be doing something that I wanted to do. But once I made the fucking jump, 
I figured it all out. And now it's easy for me. That's all I got to say.